Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today. I wanted to show you these little clay pots that I've been decoupaging with napkins. I'm going to take you through the steps on how to make one of these. So the supplies that we need for this are the clay pots. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. You get two in a package some white paint or paint of your choice. Uh, I always use white underneath the napkins. Mod Podge and a couple sponge brushes. And you're going to need a piece of plastic wrap. We're going to be using this to smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles that the napkins have on them. And to fill the pot I have plastic succulents and a bag of Spanish moss. So, first thing that we're going to do is you're going to want to paint your pot to start with. Now, I've already gone ahead and I have this one done. Uh, if you're going to cover the whole thing, I would say to go ahead and paint it white. If you want to leave some color in it. You can do the rim, maybe a different color to match the napkin. Uh, it's totally up to you. There's a lot of different options. So once our paint dries, we're going to start applying our napkin. And this is probably the most time consuming part of the whole project. For this one, I picked this napkin here. It's a kind of a summertime napkin. It's got a turtle on it and a crab, some coral there. And you'll want to make sure that you peel the, the second layer away from your napkin so it's just one ply. So we're going to start, um, I'm going to go ahead and start, I think, with the rim. So we're going to apply a light coat of Mod Podge around the rim. And like I said, you don't have to do a napkin on there if you don't want to. Totally up to you. And I have a couple strips left from another project that I was working on. So I'm just going to go ahead and use some of these that I already have cut. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to start putting this around. And you're going to be very gentle. Napkins tend to rip really easy when you're working with them. And if, if it does rip, you can always pull it off and start over if you need to. Uh, totally up to you. Or you could stop it right there and cut it and um, start another, another piece. So we've made it around. I'm going to go ahead and I didn't bring my scissors. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to tear this which is perfectly fine. It's going to blend right in as we apply more Mod Podge. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this little piece here. And again, very, very lightly. Okay. So you can cut this, see how mine is going over the top if you want, but I prefer to just go ahead and tuck it in, cover that rim. I'll just put a, a little bit of Mod Podge in here too. And don't worry about any of this. We're going to fix that as we go along. I found that decoupaging with napkins is just such a delicate 
art. Um, I've always decoupaged with fabric, and I don't know, maybe you've seen my, my video on doing glass plates with fabric. So I haven't uh, really done too, too much with napkins, but I found that it takes a lot of patience. <laughs> and uh, I'm very, very gentle. So, okay. So we went ahead. <clears throat> We've got that done. There we go. You could see how that looks. And as far as the Mod Podge goes, I have found that you really have to let it dry in between coats. We're going to go ahead, we're going to apply another coat to make sure that this is secure. But for now, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to keep going around my base. <clears throat> so I cut out a few little pieces here. And again, up to you what you want to use. You can... Uh, Cut a big piece of the napkin if you want and use that. You can cut little tiny pieces up and apply those. Totally up to you. I'm just going around the edges just to make sure that they're secure. Just keep going here. I've had to take mine off several times and redo them, so please don't get discouraged if that happens to you. Um, definitely not uncommon when it comes to this. Sometimes they go on really simple, and other times they just don't want to work happened to me a lot. There's so many different kinds of napkins out now. They're just so pretty and so decorative. You can decoupage anything practically. Any type of bottle, uh, cutting boards, practically anything. So I think, let's see, we could do one more. You can overlap on the on the napkins too. Don't worry about that. Uh, let's see here. We'll do this one. Doesn't have to match perfectly. It's gonna blend really, really nice. So, so this is what we have. And I think that turned out pretty cute. Now, if you wanted to cut little pieces and fill it in here or there, you could do that. So we're going to go ahead very, very lightly. We're going to get another coat on. I try not to tear anything. Just want to make sure that the edges are all sealed real well. And like I said, you want to, if you end up putting extra coats on, just make sure that they're totally dry in between. Because when it's wet, it will definitely rip the napkin. And again, you don't have to do the rim if you don't want. I like it this way. I like that it all matches. Uh, but if you wanted to paint it, and what a cute little thing um, for a lot of different occasions. You can use them for birthdays. You could personalize them. Use them for maybe teacher gifts for their desk. That might be something different for a teacher. I know they get a lot of the same gifts. So, okay. 
So once we get that done, now we want to go ahead and we want to take a piece of saran wrap. And we want to make sure that we get all the wrinkles out and the bubbles out of it. And what I do is I'll lay it on here and I'll just smooth it. I've seen people dab it, just kind of ball it up and dab it around. Um, that doesn't work too well for me. I tend to rip the napkins. Not that I haven't doing this, but this seems to work a little bit better for me. Just gonna go really, really tight around here. Okay, if you can see that. Okay. Once we go around, I'm going to start taking this off really gently. Get the inside there, too. Okay. Now we're going to start taking this off real gentle. And if it starts lifting up like this one did, you can try putting it back on. Um, might not be enough Mod Podge on there. I might need a little help. At least it's inside. Let's see if I can get that there. Stick a little Mod Podge up in there. Get that to stick real good. Very gently pulling this off. And there we go. So now this needs to dry really well before we can go on with this. And then we're going to check it again. I see a couple little bubbles here. I don't want to keep fooling with it because I'm afraid that the napkin's going to rip. So we're just going to let it go for now. We're going to let it dry. We're going to go ahead and we're going to Mod Podge over it again and do our uh, Saran Wrap and see how it turns out after that. So I went ahead and I did another one earlier. This one is totally dry. And look at that turned out pretty cute. Um, I was thinking this even would be cute to grow real herbs in since it has these types of flowers or plants or whatever on them. But right away I started thinking Maybe some herbs might look cute coming out of there. So we're going to use this one to finish our project. And all I do now with this, I've got my bag of moss. You can put real plants in here if you want. Totally up to you. There's a little hole in the bottom for drainage. I'm just going to fill this up. Have in there. I just think these are really cute for especially desks. I know my office definitely could use some kind of color in it. So I may have to bring a couple of these for the girls and decorate our desks up a little bit. Okay, 
so there you have it it's our finished product right there I think that turned out pretty cute it's nice and bright for summertime got a little succulent on the top so we have that one and this one with the flowers very easy it's an easy project it's just quite time consuming it, you really need to do it in steps uh, I would think if you want to do several of them to paint a bunch of pots let them sit go back and start with the Mod Podge and the napkins and then go back and finish so uh, not a lot to them but with the drying time it does take a long time to make I would say like a two-day project pretty much I think bigger pots would be really really pretty can personalize them and as I mentioned napkins napkins are just so pretty now there's such a variety I belong to several different groups on Facebook where we swap napkins and I have gotten some beautiful beautiful napkins that I just can't wait to start working with and getting my projects aligned and uh, put some of these on but look at how beautiful this napkin is with the peacock colors and this is one of those little packets the personalized nap uh, uh, tissues this is actually tissue so the little personalized tissues that you can put in your purse but just so cute now uh, today the different types of napkins that you can get I'm just going to show you a few of these because look at this how pretty another thing people are doing uh, is cutting boards and I, I did do one around the holidays that turned out really pretty and as I look at some of these oh my gosh this one is just beautiful I love the hot air balloons I'm already thinking maybe cutting boards summertime uh, this one is so unique I've never seen anything like that before but just so many pretty pretty napkins um, that you can get today and my sister even she moved into a house recently and it was fully furnished and she found in one of the drawers a bunch of napkins and I said oh yeah I will definitely take them coffee keeps me busy until it's time for happy hour funny I have never seen anything like that I'm thankful for many things but mostly for good wine and my exquisite taste in friends how cute would that be to decoupage something for a friend put that on there maybe for their birthday this is another one that'd be real cute on this little pot and put uh, some type of herbs or something in there to grow but just um, I just wanted to show you some of these napkins they're just with Easter coming look at how adorable that is I got these in the mail um, I'm so grateful uh, for the person that sent these to me I just I love them I have a lot of projects in mind and oh I'm ready I have napkins I'm ready to go so just a couple more here and um, there we go isn't that beautiful look at that oh my gosh bigger clay pots for these definitely I can already picture it but just so many different styles and different things that, that you can do with them uh, so anyway I hope you enjoyed this I hope you'll give it a try they are a lot of fun to do it's an easy project it just takes a little bit of time a little bit of patience and I, I do hope you'll try it. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.